This is the Herschel Little America backpack, and this is my honest review. Hey, Lauren here from Honest Reviews, and today we are looking at the Little America style backpack from the very popular brand, Herschel. This backpack is definitely, I think, one of the more iconic styles that Herschel has. It has that mountaineering style with the flap and the buckles. Uh, very, very cool looking, very popular. Today we are going to be digging into the features, the pricing, all the options, and then I'm gonna let you know my honest review of it, what I think, is it worth the big bucks? So let's get started. Before I dig in, I will say that we have reviewed a bunch of other Herschel bags as well as a Herschel knockoff on this channel already. So make sure to subscribe if you like backpacks because we definitely dig into it. Uh, I'll put the links for all those other videos in the description below. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at Herschel, if you're looking around, looking at the different ones, there's a lot here for you, so take a peek. For now, let's get into the Little America. Okay, so with Herschel bags, as I've mentioned before, they do tend to have a fair amount of range in their pricing, especially when you buy them on Amazon. Uh, it really depends on the color that you pick, the color styles. Um, so it can go anywhere from like 80 to 100 or so US dollars right now on amazon.com. Uh, yeah, just depending on what color you pick. So when you are looking at this bag, like go check the links below in the description um, and you're going through all the colors, make sure you're taking a peek at how that price is changing uh, just so that you make sure to pick one that's in your price range. Um, there are so many color options with this bag, like different colors, different colors of the straps, different materials on the straps. There's These ones are like a rubber material, which I think is kind of like a cool new style. Uh, there's rubber with like color inlays on them. There are ones that are synthetic leather style. So there are just, there's really a design and style for everyone. Some of them are pattern like camo, etc. cetera. Um, I think some might even be florals, really. Whatever your style is, there's one here for you, but do check to see how that price changes because um, sometimes it's quite surprising how much it can jump just by choosing a different style. I will also make a note, when you're looking for this bag on Amazon, double check that you are getting it from the authorized reseller. Herschel bags come with a limited lifetime warranty, so if any of this stuff has like a manufacturing defect, something like breaks right away and you didn't even do anything, they will replace it for you, but only if you buy it from the authorized dealer. So check the links below, those are the, the safe ones, and always keep your receipt so that if something does break, you can get that replacement, because that is definitely worth taking advantage of. Okay, so now we're gonna go through like the style and all the features, I'll show you what's inside all the pockets, what's inside the bag, so you can get a sense of this might be something that you would enjoy using. So obviously on the front here, we kind of have this one really big flap and then this flap here. And the way you get into this bottom pocket is kind of like there's two things you have to do. You have to open up these magnetic um, magnets. So these are metal, it's quite nice. You can see that these are actually black to blend in with the design of the bag. That's one thing you get when you buy the Herschel, like you definitely pay a premium price for the brand, but some of that is in the details of the Herschel bags. So all of the hardware is the same color, right? So for like a cheaper bag, you'd probably expect this would just be a standard silver rather than this like nice matte black so that it blends in. So that is definitely something to note about paying that extra for the Herschel if you're someone who cares a lot about those details just being on point this is where you get it with the Herschel. Um, so even here, this is black as well. So that's an important detail in terms of like design. Uh, so yeah, these are both magnetic and you have these two magnets here uh, so that these just kind of like pop in and you can either just pull it from here or use the strap to pull it up. And then this front pocket is actually um, a zipper pocket. All right, so looking inside this zipper pocket here, you can see it has that red and white striped lining, which is the Herschel signature lining. Then there is a plastic key clip here. Uh, I do find these to be pretty stiff, but maybe that's good. It will keep the keys on there. Uh, and then that's it within that pocket. It's just those two things. Uh, you can see there's a fair amount of space in here, but it's not huge. There's no organizers or anything in this pocket, Just very like simple open pocket. Now let's go to the back. Uh, one thing I'll mention on the sides, you can see there aren't any water bottle pockets. Uh, these bags just tend not to have them on the outside. So if that's something that's important to you, well, this is not the bag. All right, so looking at the back of this bag, one thing I will point out, 
Um, we've reviewed a bunch of other Herschel bags and this is the only bag that has this like extra padding. So there's like back and lower back uh, padding here with mesh and it's quite nice and squishy, uh, like it feels really well made. So this is definitely going to help uh, keep this from getting too hard on your back, like if you have a bunch of textbooks in there. And then that mesh will also help breathability. There's gonna be these kind of like, you know, little bits in between where the air can get through. Uh, so if you do tend to need like more support, more cushioning in your backpacks, that is something really interesting and unique about this bag compared to the other Herschel bags that we've reviewed. Uh, and then that padding is also on the straps here. So that is also very nice. This bag has, you know, the adjustable length here. And like all the Herschel bags, those details, the buckle for the adjuster is the same color. So you get like really nice details there. It also has this little elastic that is around these adjustable straps. So when you adjust it, you can fold up the excess strap, this here, and like kind of tuck it into this elastic. And then you don't have those like long straps dangling, uh, which just kind of looks messy. This kind of keeps it nice and clean. You know, no one's gonna put their boots on it or get water on it or anything like that, which tends to happen in my house. Uh, so this is a really nice little feature. You also have the top handle here uh, for hanging up the bag or lifting it. Always a really handy little feature. All right, so now we're gonna go into the bag uh, and take a look at what's inside. So to open up the bag, you also have the two magnetic little flaps here. It comes over. Uh, I'll show you the hood is kind of like lined on the inside here. I do not like, these bags are not waterproof, um, but that is a nice touch and that like just knowing there's a little bit extra there to keep your stuff safe. And then this bag has this drawstring closure. So you just kind of get it closed like this and that's it. So as you can see, like this thing doesn't close all the way. There's a little hole there. So you are kind of unable to fully zip this closed or anything like that. So in terms of like security, um, traveling, if that's something you're really concerned about, like you can't lock this top closed. So that is something to be aware of depending on how you're using this bag. Uh, so looking inside. So here's one thing that is in this bag that's not in the similar Herschel Dawson bag is that the laptop pouch is both padded. So you can kind of see here, this is thicker. And then it is also felt lined, which actually is very soft, very nice. Um, so that would be nice if you have a laptop that is prone to scratching or you just wanna make sure it's extra safe. The fact that there is already padding in here is a big bonus and not something that is in a lot of the lower price point Herschel bags. You can see here that the rest of the inside is this red and white lining again. So inside the bag, on the two sides, you also have these media pouches. They are Velcro shut uh, and these will hold like a phone. Uh, they will not hold a water bottle or anything. They're quite small, um, but those are so you can put your phone in there or say like a small wallet and you know where it is in the bag because otherwise there's no organization inside. It's just like one big open space in there. So you do have those two little pockets on the side. And then over here you have, this is um, uh, like a headphone cord little port. So there's a little hole here. You can put the cord of your headphones through there and then the media pouch is right here, like it's right here. So your phone can go here and then the cord can come out and you can listen to it without having to keep it like in your pocket or something just from inside your bag. So it's a little more secure in there. In terms of capacity, this bag is 25 liters of storage inside, which is very impressive. The Dawson, which is kind of, it's up on the wall there. It's a similar style. That one is only 20.5 liters. So this is definitely a much larger bag, a lot more you can fit in here. So if that's something that you need, if you need a lot of storage space, this one will have it for you. In terms of the actual dimensions of the bag, we have 19.25 inches high, which is a fair bit higher. It is 11.25 inches wide and when it is full it is seven inches deep all right so i love the design of the bag i think it looks really great um there's so many different options so you really can find something that's either really like classic or really modern and cool uh, if you get like these kind of trendy rubber straps 
One thing that is a little bit annoying about the design is that for both of these, op of, for both the main compartment and this front pocket, you kind of have to do two things to get inside. So this one, you have to open up the magnets and then open up the zipper and then you can get inside. And then this one, you open up the magnets and then you open up the drawstring and then you can get inside. Um, so compared to like a zipper, just one zipper, it definitely is a little bit more fiddly. Um, so, you know, like if efficiency is really important to you or being able to get into your bag really quick without having to kind of do a couple steps, this might not be the one for you. You might want something with just a simple zipper. Um, so when you do have that kind of extra design element, there is a bit of an e efficiency drawback to it, but that is definitely personal preference. This bag does look like a mountaineering bag, um, but when it comes to these straps, like the back is padded, which is definitely good if you're using it for a long time, but there is no chest strap and there is no waist strap. So there's nothing for you to be able to distribute the weight more evenly and not just put it on your back, but put it um, across. And so if you're carrying this for a long amount of time, it kind of isn't great that you don't have that extra option with those extra straps. So that is something that you need to think about if you wanna use this for travel, or for like actual backpacking. I know when I go traveling, I always use that chest strap, especially if I have a lot in that bag and it's pretty heavy. Uh, and with the capacity of this one, you can pack quite a lot in there. Um, so it could get very heavy. So that's something to consider. I will also say that I did see that some people found that the 15 inch laptop compartment is really kind of designed for a 15 inch MacBook. Um, so if you have something that's significantly thicker, than that, it might actually have a hard time fitting in there. Uh, so you might want to be aware of that before you buy it or see if you can try out your laptop in one in a store before you commit to that purchase. Here is a look at me wearing the bag. For reference, I am five foot six. But overall, I think this bag looks great. The design details are great. Uh, the quality is really nice. They use a really thick material. Uh, it feels really well made. And there's not a lot of places uh, where I think things could break like dramatically uh, where the backpack would be unusable. And that's pretty consistent with the reviews. It has 4.3 stars on Amazon. Uh, people really like the bag. There's not a lot of huge problems that tend to crop up with this one. All right, so that's my review of the Herschel Little America backpack. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this bag? Do you have it? Would you buy a Herschel bag? They are super duper popular, so it's always interesting to hear why people choose this brand. Uh, I have a ton more Herschel reviews and other backpack reviews as well, so make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.